WSTKS FM Worldwide Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. Good morning, everyone. It's Professor Schwartz here again with a fresh mug of dark roast and my feline buddy Onyx the Cat nearby. I hope everyone is settling into the course reasonably well now that we're about five weeks in. With that important marker in mind, your student learning team should be well on its way to creating, revising, and completing collaborative project number one. Let's simplify things a bit by looking at three key components that are part of the assignment. Okay, we're back, and the first and largest component of collaborative project number one is the project itself. Basically, your student learning team should find, review, and evaluate two recent journal articles, less than 10 years old, which provide team members with deeper understanding of and insight into some of the primary course materials examined during the first five weeks of the course in terms of power, privilege, oppression, equity, and justice. Gender, sexuality, race, ethnicity, class, and identity might be a part of that. Use one of several article databases accessible through the MSU Library homepage to examine a number of full-text possibilities before narrowing your choice to two suitable articles that your team will use for this first collaborative project. Consult an MSU reference librarian if your team needs help. They're happy to help students. But be careful not to use articles that are already part of the course reading. Check carefully through the online course modules to avoid making that mistake. Your collaborative task is to create a concise review, assessment, and appraisal of your two journal articles that pertain in some way to the materials you have examined during the first five weeks of the course. For more information, see the materials and links embedded within the Week 5 course module plus Collaborative Project Packet Number 1 on D2L. The second component of collaborative project number one is a works cited references or bibliography page formatted according to current MLA, APA, or Chicago style guidelines. You do this because documenting all physical and digital sources that your student learning team consults for a project like this is a hallmark of solid scholarship. Avoid simply pasting in hyperlinks to your sources. (laughs) That is not how to format a works cited references or bibliography page. Now, there are many websites and apps out there to help your student learning team accomplish this task, but you need to enter the correct information to begin with. When it comes to learning how to avoid plagiarism and documenting your sources correctly, A helpful start for this part of collaborative project number one is to visit the Purdue OWL website at owl.purdue.edu. You can also find the link in the description below. WSTKS FM Worldwide Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. If you find this podcast helpful, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe.
The third component of collaborative project number one is a reflection on and self-assessment of the teamwork behind the project. Within this document, which should be written collaboratively in paragraph form with a clear introduction, body, and conclusion, team members examine, discuss, and evaluate their work ethic, decisions, challenges, and overall effectiveness of their collaboration. Be careful here to take a clear-eyed look at your teamwork rather than gloss over issues or problems with a string of sugary, glowing terms. It's far better to err on the side of honest, frank assessment of your collaborative efforts with the aim of refining your team dynamic. Significantly, you should enumerate concrete steps that team members can take moving forward to streamline the collaborative process. Even when things go reasonably well for a student learning team, there are always ways to clarify and strengthen your collaborative efforts from week to week. But avoid writing a simple process description, which does not effectively address team weaknesses that should be taken care of. For more information, consult the collaborative tools provided to you on D2L, specifically the Inventory of Team Strengths and Weaknesses Worksheet and the Team Reflection and Self-Critique Worksheet. Okay, that will just about do it for today's program, everyone. Remember, there are three related components to collaborative project number one. First, complete the project itself, a review and evaluation of two recently published journal articles that help you think about power, privilege, oppression, inequity, and justice in relation to the course materials you have examined during the first five weeks. Secondly, develop a works cited references or bibliography page that presents clear and correctly formatted documentation of all sources, digital and physical, consulted for the project. Third, draft a collaboratively written reflection on and self-assessment of your team practices that includes concrete steps your team can take moving forward to streamline and improve its collaborative process. Be sure that your first team project contains all three of these components before submission to the related team folder on D2L. And with that, we come to the end of this episode on the three key components of your first collaborative project. Tune in again for additional tips, tricks, and advice based on my almost 30 years of teaching and working with thousands of undergraduates at three Big Ten universities, two smaller liberal arts institutions, and two community colleges across the upper Midwest of the United States. In the meantime, thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in class, online, or during Zoom office hours if you drop by with a question. Stay healthy, have a safe and a productive week. With special regards, from Onyx, the cat what am. So long, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now. You've just heard a podcast from WSTKS FM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century.